Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Jimmy, your astute tourist, and we're in Kenny Bunk, Maine at Goose Rock Beach. Hanging out on the beach on a warm summer's August day. Walking in the water, there's Colleen. We're in the water, doing our thing. Unusually warm in the main water. As long as the surf's coming in, it's a little strong. It's starting to knock me down. Usually though, it's so cold, you can't really enjoy it. Until your legs go numb, and then you can. Right? <laughs> yeah, this, there's no numbing effect today. Oh, it's just beautiful. See, everybody's Gorgeous. having a good time. Even the seagulls are having fun. Yeah, the water is, uh, is... <laughs> Colleen's losing her hat. You can't do that, I'll get suffered. Losing her hat over here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's breezy. The water is unusually, unusually warm. Very nice. Normally here in New England, even in August, the water is pretty cold. Stays around in the 50 degree range, 55 degrees, somewhere in there. I'd say today though, the water's definitely in the 60s. It's nice. As the tide comes in, I think uh, the water gets uh, a little colder. It's coming in now. It's fantastic though. This water is really nice. Something to be said for the salt water too. You know, it's much as I like swimming in the lakes, the fresh water, there is something to be said for salt water. Something about the ocean. Right? The allure of the ocean, I guess. It's definitely different and it, it does attract a lot of people. Here in Kenny, Kenny Bunk, Maine. It's a lot of fun. So if you find yourself coming to New England, you definitely want to take a trip up the coast of Maine. Route 1 and Kenny Bunk Port, or Kenny Bunk rather. Route 1 and Kenny Bunk. This is uh, Goose Rock Beach. If you find yourself this way, you should come up to Maine. And Maine has a lot of beaches. Again, it's vacation land. You should come up and check it out, spend some time. It's a lot of fun. Goose Rock Beach. This is where you're gonna be. This is Nick Dog. All swole. Muscle. I think it's Muscle Beach. We decided we'd uh, spend part of the day at the beach, hanging out with uh, some of our friends. A lot of friends. You can see them behind us. And they're all in the water. Got a whole world full of friends here. Great spot. Yeah. Let's see. Let's take a look. Let's go down to the water. Yeah, let's do it. I got Mr. Nick with me. Go down to the water, check things out. It's pretty hot today. It's probably 90 or a little hotter than that. Humidity is up there as well. But uh, it is summertime. It's a nice day. I'm gonna try out the water, see what it's like. How is it, Nikki? Oh, it is very warm. Usually up here in New England, the water, even in the summer, can be pretty cold, but it's been really hot and humid. We've had a heat wave the last three days, so you definitely can feel the uh, feel the temperature of the water has risen a little bit. Very nice, though. Usually it'll take your breath away, but 
This is very nice. Definitely cool us down. Yeah, the water feels really good. Jimbo approves. Yeah. It's a beautiful day here. It's, uh, what is the date today? August 14th, I think? Something like that. It's August 14th, 2021. Somewhere in there. Like I said, we're, we're somewhere around Arundel, Wells, Maine. Maybe a gunkwit? I'm not sure. Kennebunk. Oh, we're in Kennebunk, all right. Mr. Nick tells me we're in Kennebunk. I, I got my lemonade with me. As we're walking out in the water. Some people kayaking way out there. I don't know if you can see them. There's some close and then there's four of them way out there. This is uh, beautiful here. Beautiful times. Salty. Salty water. Salty. Yep. Here in the Atlantic Ocean. day. What do you think, Nick? I love it. I love the ocean. Hot summer day. Nothing better. Yeah, it's not a bad day. A little bit cloudy that way, but for the most part, it's a clear sunny day. We'll take it. It's a typical New England summer day here in Maine. Keep walking out, see how far I can get. Before it's, uh, I think it stays about maybe four feet deep or so, and then it drops right off out there. I don't know if you can see the dark water. There's a bunch of sand here, and then it'll drop off. I think the tide's coming in. It's tides out right now, but I think it's, uh, Starting to come in now. Very nice day here though. Gorgeous. Alright, let's see. Let me uh let me get under the water a little. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh it feels great. Like I said it's hot out here today, so water feels good. Definitely feels good. Maine is the vacation state. Last night we got some uh, lobster and some steamed clams. We brought them back to the RV, cooked them up, and we got some, uh, we had some leftover lobster. And um, we made some lobster salad. We're gonna have that a little bit later on the beach. <laughs> Very tasty. Gotcha. If you um, if you're in the New England area, you have to come to Maine, especially if you like seafood. It's the uh, cold water seafood capital. For sure. For sure. And look, Colleen's with us. There's Colleen. Water is unusually warm here in Maine. Usually it's so cold you can't go in it. Right? It's beautiful today. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Parking is a premium when you come to Maine. What is that? The parking. It's at a premium. Oh, parking. It's very challenging. To yeah, so parking. let's talk about the parking. So uh, they only allow you to park on one side of the street. You need to buy a permit. It was $25 if you can find a spot. They have a kiosk. Um, you can only use a credit or debit card, but um, 
you know, it's summertime, so we we drove a little bit back and forth until we found an open spot. We did find one, so. But like I said, it's twenty-five dollars for me. It's it's well worth it. Um, we don't come up and hang out into Maine very often. We don't go to the beach very often, so I think it's well worth it. So we're gonna we'll be hanging out in the water for a little bit, and. Um, Enjoying the uh, the nice salt water, and then uh, we'll come back in a little while. So you guys uh, stand by. We'll be back. I had to turn the music off. Why? Oh, so you can video. Can't have any copyright strikes on me. I had to take the music off for a moment. No copyright strikes. Can't have it. Yeah, we're hanging out. Just came up from the water. Probably gonna have some lunch in a little bit. Like I said, we got some uh, lobster salad. And uh, <laughs> Colleen's umbrellas. It's an issue. It's uh going in the trash bin when we leave here I think. I think, so. I think you want to like sit under this one? I think if the wind goes back, it'll be fine. The wind's blowing. Hang on to this. I'm losing my, losing my, uh, using my toe to hold my, uh, losing my, my umbrella. The wind's kind of blowing on it. Oh, look at Colleen though. She's got the toe hold going. Yep, I'm holding it in. She's doing good. There's Mr. Nick. He's getting some sun over there. He's got his uh, fencing mask on. <laughs> That's right. It's looking good. So the tide's coming in, water's getting a little bit colder. It was obviously warmer earlier, but uh, now it's starting to get colder. Still nice though. Thought we would take a, a walk. A little walk in the water, although it's still kind of warm. It's not as cold as usual. Actually, this time of year, legs go numb in the water. Yeah, there's no, there's no numbness. It still feels pretty good. Still a lot of people enjoying the, the beach. I got Colleen by the hand. <laughs> so I won't fall. <laughs> the uh, surf's coming in. It's a little strong. What's that? Oh, yeah. See that island out there? Looks nice. There were some people out there. We could see them earlier out on that island. Looks like they're when the tide's out, there's a land bridge that goes from that point on the left. 
you could probably walk across. But now that the tide's coming in, it's it's underwater. You know, up here in Maine, it's uh, they call it vacation land. So summertime's a good time to come up here. Uh, unless you're a skier, there's not a lot going on in the winter time. Skiing and snowmobiling, but summertime is the time to come up here. There's lots of camping, stuff to do on the beaches. Of course, that's where we are today. We're actually camping and spending a day at the beach. We got the RV. Also, there's a lot and, of uh, wonderful hanging out. Yeah, there are. Uh, Sebago Lake. Lake, Little Sebago Lake. Randy Pond, Long Lake. You can. Oh, maybe four and a half hours from here Moosehead. is, uh, yeah, Moosehead Lake. Just north of where we're at is Old Orchard Beach, and that's a, a destination a lot of people like to go to. That's fun because they have a pier with a lot of bars out on the pier and stuff. That's a lot of fun. We were there a couple years ago. Uh, there's a... An amusement um, rides, amusement park there. There's Ferris wheels and all the games of chance and all that on the midway. It's it's a lot of fun. Good place for the families to go. This is nice though. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of families here. A lot of kids having fun. And, uh, the beach goes a long way. See it well past that gray house down at the end and what makes it awesome is there's limited parking so the beach isn't packed because there's no place to park so you have a nice separated beach area so you can enjoy a fun day without being overcrowded you can see it's not overly crowded at all it's actually wonderful we've been to some beaches where it's just you can't even step on the beach without stepping on somebody. A lot of people. But here, it's, um, it's nice. The water is beautiful. Everybody thinks the beautiful water is the Caribbean. I would argue that Maine has beautiful beaches in water. I think you're right. I think you're right, Colleen. Definitely a fun place to be. And it's a good time to get out in the sun. Soak up some of that sunshine, get that vitamin D going. It's good for your disposition. I know it is for mine. So we're your astute tourists. We're coming to you from Kenny Bunk, Maine at Goose Rock Beach. That's going to do it for us. I'm Jimmy. I'm Colleen. We'll, we'll see, see you later. later. <laughs>